Naya is making her debut at Queens of Combat. And tonight I face Tessa Blanchard. The She-Wolf doesn't want to hear about your daddy this, your grandfather that, because the Hanaya does not care who your daddy is. And tonight, Tessa Blanchard will be referred to as nothing but the prey of the night of the She-Wolf. So get ready. Turn to tournament action. The next matchup, we have Tessa Blanchard against Anaya the Howling Huntress. Sort of reminds me maybe of a Tully Blanchard Wahoo McDaniels match and I watched oh, in the Greensboro Coliseum. Wow, what a great, uh, what a great comparison. Uh, good thing of the word. No straps, though, fortunately. I, I'm going to tell you, some of the most brutal <laughs> matches I've ever seen. Wahoo McDaniel, the, the greatest chops. You can split people wide open. And I'm, if Anaya, the Howling Huntress, can chop half as hard as Wahoo, then Tessa is in for quite a lot of trouble. Right now, Tessa's in firm control. Was in firm control. Both Tessa. women just squaring off right now. Tessa recently back from a tour of Canada. She was in the Maritimes. Two weeks, I believe, that she spent out there. Oh, my God! Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island. I heard, talked to her earlier. She had a great time up there. I also want to acknowledge, while the match is going on, only gets a two count there. Tessa's knee pad, of course, we lost the late, great Dusty Williams just a couple days ago. Someone that meant so much to Tessa's family. And she has made a knee pad, and you see it black with the polka dots. She wanted to wear that. She made it yesterday. Oh, man. Tessa Blanchard went to do a dive, and uh, Anaya able to stop that with a big kick right to the face. And she the, is really trying to make work of Tessa. The Huntress has her prey in the corner. Chops and kicks, but Tessa Blanchard able to turn that around. And, you know, Tessa is one of those local favorites. She's from Charlotte, very in the Carolinas. A lot of fans here pulling for Tessa, hoping that she's going to be the one to not only win today, but to go all the way through this tournament and capture that beautiful Queens of Combat championship belt that's being made right now. It's in the progress. It's the opening stages of it. I've seen the, the sketches of it. It's going to be a beautiful belt. Come made on, by Dad, our no. friends ah. at Top Rope Belts, toprobelts.com. Check them you, out. I'll tell you what, Tessa would be an outstanding Queens of Combat champion. Tessa has made waves everywhere she goes. She's been in the Midwest. She's been down in the Sunshine State. She has gone everywhere. And I'll tell you what, she just throws her leaps and bounds everywhere. She was in a recent tournament, wasn't she? Oh, she was in, I believe, the ECWA tournament. A winner. Yes. So it seems like everywhere she goes, she loves to win. She's got a lot of, I mean, for a short time in, she's got a lot of championship credentials in the Queens of Combat. Definitely something she wants to add to that. But Hanaya, you know, has a, had a lot of success in WSU. 
A lot of big bounce there. Yeah, she's actually had a feud on goal with Athena there that culminated recently in a TLC match at the ECW Arena. Like I said, their feud uh, is ongoing, so definitely check out WSU too from high spots and uh, see where they go from there. Athena, a very talented wrestler. Love to see her in Queens of Combat. I know a lot of people have requested her. I think that's what brought Hanaya here is the fans of Queens Combat wanted to see her here. And what better way to make your debut than in the tournament for the Queens of Combat Championship? Wow, what a kick to Tessa Blanchard. And Hunter sizing up Tessa. Hanaya just in Tessa's face. A lot of trash talking going on. A lot of boots to the throat going on, too. Naya with a big body check there in the corner. Tessa Blanchard looks a little stunned. Naya trying to capitalize on this opening. Oh, wow, big high kick. Another chest and neck area. Tessa Blanchard down to the mat. In a lot of trouble, Hanaya, if she could keep this momentum going, she could pull the win up. Oh, dropped her right across the top rope. I mean, that's risking disqualification. You're not supposed to use the ropes in that manner. She and seems quite proud of herself. Howling. The howling huntress is howling. Perhaps in, in anticipation of her victory coming up next. Maybe she thinks she has this match wrapped up. Well, I certainly wouldn't uh, go so far as to say that. She seems very confident in herself, taking a lot of time to, to jaw with the ringside fans. I would suggest staying, staying tight there, keeping Tessa on the ropes and not letting up. If you want to win this tournament, it's going to take everything you've got. Nice short suplex there by Hanaya. Tessa Blanchard still a lot of pain. She's going to have to fight through that. Let's go, Tessa! Oh, and you hear the crowd Let's here in the auditorium. They are behind go, Tessa, Tessa Blanchard. She's showing a lot of fight. I mean, she's not going down for a three count. It's going to take a lot more than that as much as Hanaya is, is locking her own thing. Wait a minute. Wait, we got a submission hold by Tessa. It's a new hold here. She's got a front face lock and, and has... One of her arms scissored, preventing a lot of motion from Hanaya. Nice, just reaching out blindly, trying to find the ropes. She's very close, but she can't see it. Great coverage by Tessa. Very smart move on the part of Tessa Blanchard. Hanaya does reach for the ropes and gets them. She was lucky to find the ropes because she was definitely shielded. Tessa had a great grip there, shielding her eyes, keeping her from seeing where she was in the ring. And Anaya, a little, I'd say, cheap shot on Tessa there to take her down. Now he's going to try to whip her in the ropes. Wait a minute, a counter into a Russian leg sweep. Perhaps that will keep Hanaya down, let Tessa regain, regain her senses, regain her balance. Referee Red Jones counting both participants down on the mat. Those quick. Very uh, slow to get up. I hate to see another double countdown. Okay. They're up. Big close line. Tessa's got a lot of fire right now. Oh, flying neck breaker there. Drop kick sends Hanaya into the ropes. Oh, nice bulldog. Beautiful bulldog by Tessa Blanchard. Turns her over. Let's see if she gets that three count on it. No. Oh, that was so close. Red Jones clarifying it with Tessa that the shoulder was up just in the nick of time. Tessa got to keep it going now. She's, she had her so close that near fall. So you got to try even harder. Gonna exchange it some big forearms. Into the corner. Tessa going to fire her across. She's going to follow in, but no. And Anaya, even a move, slams her into that turnbuckle. 
Look out, springboard, cross body block, puts the leg, two and a. We got fans counting the three, the referee shaking it off. He said no, Tessa got her shoulder up at the last moment. Anaya very upset by this. At the very, very last moment. This is close. Two and three quarters, not even. Two and seven eighths. Yes. Springboard off the ropes. Face first into the mat. Tessa could be over for her. Again, Tessa Blanchard able to kick out. The Huntress is extremely agitated now. She is pitching a hissy fit. Tessa trying to fight her off, but Anaya is stabbing forearms right to the jaw. Not to mention those kicks. Kicks brutal. She's got to have some kind of uh, martial arts training the way as good her kicks are. You see the wear and tear on both of these women at this point. Naya now with that rear chin lock. Red Jones there to check. Make sure there's not a choke going on. It's really easy to slide that into a choke. He's on top of the action. Tessa reaching back, trying to find some way to counter it. And a little short stunner there, able to break loose. Lifts her up. Off the ropes, wait a minute, Anaya able to hang on to the ropes and counter the, the slingshot that Tessa was attempting. Tessa gonna go back for it again, up off the ropes. Anaya able to flip out of it, spin kick right to the face. Oh my God, I don't think took her head off, Jeff Todd. I don't think I've ever seen anyone counter a slingshot suplex before. Wait a minute here, we, we need a ruling from the ref, is it two? Again, he said Tessa. Barely got her shoulder up. Fans looking like it was a three. My vantage point, it looked like a three, but the referee's decision is a two. It's definitely gotten under the skin of the Huntress. She's she's about to lose her game plan here from these close near falls. Charges in, and Red Jones has sandwiched between the two. I don't know what he had. Crown. Fans are happy to see Red Jones leveled. Look out. Anaya went to spear. Tessa moved and crashed into that big metal post. And look out. Tessa's got her What's Tessa hanging going from to the turnbuckle. Look out. A DDT on the apron. And I'm That's very unlike Tessa. I mean, a DDT on the apron isn't really in her repertoire. She's a very scientific girl. These two are just brawling on the floor. We don't have a referee to handle the action. Wait a minute, we're gonna get a chair involved now? Tessa Blanchard with a chair right to the midsection. Anaya, I'm gonna tell you, if something's gonna take the wind out of you, a metal folded chair just slammed into your stomach will do it. I'm so surprised in Tessa Blanchard's attitude, Jeff Todd. Red Jones gonna try to make a three count, and he gets it. Wow. What a turn of events, Tessa what Blanchard. What a turn of events is right. Well, we have a winner, and Tessa Blanchard will advance to the next round of the Queen's Combat title tournament after uh, the questionable use of a metal folding chair.